I say the following statement with a heavy heart, and that is that Declan Rice is really too good for West Ham. He's too good for West Ham now. He's too good for West, where West Ham will be next season. He's possibly, in fact, not possibly, he is too good for wherever Moyes sees the end of West Ham's evolution, if you like. David Moyes has it in his mind that he's going to spend a number of years at West Ham and then gradually build us up to a team that can continually continually challenge for, I guess, the top six and be in and around the shake-up to qualify for Europe. That's great. And as ambition for West Ham, as a West Ham fan, I love to hear that. That sounds absolutely fantastic. That's a massive shift from where we've been traditionally as a yo-yo club up and down the divisions for us to be in and around the top six. We might get it some seasons, we might not. But you know what? When we don't, we might finish eighth. You get it. Some might sometimes might finish fifth. We might have had the odd little go in a Champions League. That's great, but it's not good enough for Declan Rice. Declan Rice, and it does pain me to say it, is a little bit better than that. It, I feel it was quite evident. There was a moment in the first half against Arsenal where Declan Rice was being crowded by a number of Arsenal players. Well, I can't even remember who they were. I'm sure Jacker was in there, and Nanny was in there, a couple of others, whatever. There were about three of them. And what he did is he shaped as if he was going to play it back to the centre halves. He went that way and then very quickly he moved that way. It was the sort of movement you might associate with with a tricky attacker who once he gets into the opposition box just does a bit of misdirection, moves one way, moves the other and then basically the defenders end up on their asses. Um, and it was very similar to that. And what he did was he made out and he shaped as if he was going towards the defence. He turned around and actually carried the ball did a little bit of quick quick foot movement and he was started striding towards Arsenal's goal. The three players didn't know what had hit them, basically. One of them was on their arse. The other two were looking around thinking, what the hell's gone on? Declan Rice had gone. He was a class above. Arsenal were a really good team. I didn't think that was their best team, by the way. But a lot's been said of uh, Saka. And Saka's a good player, but I tell you what, he's nowhere near as good as Declan Rice. Um, Arsenal will be a really good team. When Arsenal get a striker, they'll um, they'll be in they'll be in the mix in the mix and challenging for top four. They are this season, but they don't have a player that's as good as Declan Rice. That's how good he is. Now the story that's come out this morning is I think it's from ESPN. There's a lot of Sky are running with it. A lot of people are running with it, which is that Declan Rice's only option this coming summer is to go to Manchester United. Basically, Manchester United are the only club that can pay in excess of £100 million. Now, I'll take you back to a story which sort of broke last week, which is there's a gentleman's agreement between Declan Rice and his advisors and the club that he will stay one more season. Basically, give Moyes one more season, then he'll be off. He may even sign a new contract, but that's, that new contract would include a buyout clause, so some whatever the fee might be. Let's say they agreed that it was 105 million. I pluck that out of the air. Whatever, let's say it's 105 million just for the sake of this video. Then after in a season's time, a club comes in, Chelsea, whatever, 105 million. There you go. Declan Rice goes. We've made good money. We've kept him for another year, and Declan can go on and, and hopefully start winning trophies. Not that I think that that would necessarily happen at Chelsea. And this is my argument with Manchester United here, because. If Manchester United is his only option, if that's it, if they are the only club around at the moment that can pay £100 million, I would suggest that Manchester United quite possibly could go the next eight years without winning a major trophy. Now, when I say a major trophy, I'm talking about the FA Cup, I'm talking about the League Cup, I'm even talking about the Europa League. Yes, those ones. Would we love any one of those trophies at West Ham? Yes, but that is not the level that Declan Rice is at. Declan Rice wants Premier League, Champions League and probably a World Cup. That's where he's looking. That's where he has his sights set. That's the ambition of his career. And I also think that's the standard of his play. I see very few better midfielders than Declan Rice when I watch West Ham. And West Ham played some good teams this season. I watched, the other day I watched Man City play. I thought Rodri was absolutely brilliant. Not better than Declan Rice. Uh, watched, uh, oh, I get me Firmino's and me Fabinho's mixed up. I'm going to go with Fabinho, all right? The midfielder. Thought he played really well. Uh, he was playing um, 
I'm not going to compare him with Thiago because I do think a different player is wonderful player Thiago. But Fabinho, you would say, probably more in the Declan Rice mould. He played really well in the European game against Villarreal the other day. Well, he ain't as good as Declan Rice. Declan Rice is up there with the top midfielders in Europe. And I tell you something now. It'd be a complete waste if he went to Man United. Before I go ahead and speak speak more trash about Man United, and I will in just a second, this video is sponsored by the One Football app, which you can download by clicking the link below. They've agreed to sponsor us for another couple of months, so we thank you, the One Football app. Why should you download the One Football app? Well, you can use that QR code to do so, but you should do so because it's a fantastic app. It's a world football app. It's a Premier League app. It's an app that covers everything you need to know about football. But you don't have to get swamped by all the information from every team from here to Timbuktu. You just, when you sign up and it's free, you say I support West Ham, puts all the news, the West Ham news, into one place for you, nicks it from the newspapers, from the internet, and delivers it straight to your phone. That's the one football app. Now, Declan has sort of I say he's got a decision to make. He's also got time on his side. But if you listen to the way he was speaking the other day, he gave an interview the other day, he's talking about improving. I can do better. I will do better. I can play better. I can keep improving. There's aspects of my game. It's, it's the talk of a winner. It really is. I mean, there'd be an awful lot of players who would be more than happy to be operating at Declan Rice's standard. Declan Rice isn't happy to be operating at Declan Rice's standard. Declan Rice wants to operate a standard way above what he's doing now. There's drive, ambition, commitment. I'd say the most impressive thing about Declan Rice, he's got all these characteristics, um, but humility comes with it as well. He's a nice guy, he's a softly spoken guy, he's a funny guy. Crikey, I'm jealous. He's actually got it all. He really has. He really has drive, ambition, talent, humility, humour. I mean, who wouldn't want to sign Declan Rice, to be perfectly honest with you? He would fit into any dressing room whatsoever. But I look at the league now and I look at Liverpool and I look at, I look at um, Man City and they are light years ahead. They really are. Look, Jurgen Klopp is going to buy again. Liverpool haven't got the money in Man City, but they very rarely get a transfer wrong. They, they, Jurgen Klopp also buys young players who, he, who he's bringing through. I think he'll get that Carvalho from Fulham. He looks a hell of a player. they got Harvey Elliott coming through. Funny how they nicked him from Fulham as well. And, and anyone else that wants to come from Fulham. They went 7-0, by the way. Um... And, and wrapped up, uh, wrapped up promotion quite convincingly, really, didn't they? Uh, but he's um, Klopp will unearth gems. He'll also get someone like Thiago in for wasn't much money, was he? Thiago eight million, something like that. And then his purchases like Diaz will be really, really good. It's very efficient with the way he spends money. So Liverpool will strengthen. So Liverpool next season will be even better than they are this season. Man City will undoubtedly be better once they get Haaland. I mean. <laughs> I think if I was Klopp, I'd probably be looking at it this season, thinking, got to win this stuff this season. I don't think I'll win the quadruple. But if I was Klopp, I'd be thinking, oh, I've got to win this season. Because once Man City get Haaland, they're going to go a level above as well. There's already massive, massive chasms between those two clubs and the rest. I can't see Chelsea closing that gap. They're not going to get new owners that spend more than Abramovich. Whoever comes in is going to spend less than Abramovich. It's ju it just going to be the way. You look at people that are coming in, they're doing it to make an investment, not to lose money. That's what Abramovich did. The gap between Chelsea and Man City isn't going to get smaller. Uh, it's either going to stay exactly as it is. They'll maintain a status quo. And to be fair, there is a little bit of a gap there. They pretty much are the third best team, aren't they? But Here's my point. If what you want to do, and we've already ascertained this, Declan Rice wants to win the big trophies, the Champions League, and he wants to win the Premier League, you probably wouldn't choose Chelsea. As for Manchester United, I'm not saying Manchester United will never get there. I'm not. But I'm sorry, I believe Klopp's just about to sign a new contract uh, for another three years or something like that. At Liverpool, well, that's, that's bad news. Liverpool don't spend enough money to stay up there forever. But while Klopp's there, they'll stay there because he's an outstanding manager. City are going nowhere. Even once Pep leaves, there will be another manager. Why? And a brilliant one. Why? Because they'll be able to afford it. They'll be able to look around the world and say, who's the best manager? Who's the best manager we can get? We'll have him. Thank you very much indeed. Players are going to want to go and play there. If Haaland's there and all the other wonderful players, which can't be bothered to mention now that play for Manchester City... Players are going to want to go there. The chances of the guy coming in, um, Ten Hag coming in from Ajax, and somehow making Man United be able to challenge what I believe are the two best clubs in Europe, 
It's, it's next to impossible. You cannot move to Manchester United because you want to win trophies. Not the big ones anyway. They might hoover up an FA Cup or something like that. Because this is what happens when teams are like that. Once Arsenal dipped out of challenging for the real top trophies, they would still hoover up an FA Cup here and there. They just, they just would. Liverpool, before they actually went and did this, they were there in contention. Do you remember Klopp? He was getting, he was always losing in finals, wasn't he? Or getting to a semi-final. You, if you're not at the top level, you can contest those lesser trophies. But the big ones, I'm telling you now, you can absolutely forget it. Man United, I'll tell you now, will not challenge for that Premier League title for quite a while. And Declan Rice is probably looking at it, thinking, OK, 23 now, 24. Look, he's got eight, nine years playing at the top level. He'll play for longer because then because he's so good. He'll probably be playing when he's 35 as a centre back or something like that. That'll be that'll be Declan Rice. I would not ever rule out Declan Rice as a 35 year old centre back for West Ham, you know, coming back. I wouldn't rule that out at all. But actually at the top level as an influential midfielder, one of the best midfielders in Europe, I reckon he's probably got about another eight years, something like that. Um I don't think he's got the I think four years have been generous to say that Man United would you bet any money that Man United would win the Premier League title in the next four years? Would you? I, I wouldn't. No. So, then Declan Rice is sort of looking old on a second. Is he going to buy into a project where he might not win the league title until he's, I don't know, 28, 29? And that's if you're assuming that Man City and Liverpool are doing nothing in that time. You're assuming that another club hasn't come up from anywhere. Yeah, I'm, I think there are enough financial constraints in place now from UEFA. UEFA's new rules are, are terrible, a real, real hindrance. Um, I've got no particular love for Newcastle, but I, I don't like the fact that they're not able, someone can't buy them. I don't, I don't like who's bought them, basically. But if we forget who's bought them, I don't like the fact that, that they're, they're not able to, to to get their way to the top, as long as they're not saddled with debt. Um, but UEFA and the other clubs have made it a pretty much a close shot. So I don't think... Newcastle will come up there and, and particularly challenge the very top teams. They won't be allowed to spend the money that it would be required to do so. But Man United, no. Declan Weiss, I would just say don't do it. And I'm, I know it's easy for me to say that. Why? Because I'm a West Ham fan and it's easy for me to turn around and say, oh, Declan Weiss shouldn't sign for Man United. And that's why I said at the start, I concede that he's too good for West Ham. I understand that. He really is. If we get another season out of him, I've got to say, fair, fair play to everyone. Fair play to Declan for staying another season. Fair play to Moyes for persuading him. Fair play to the board for making it happen. Fair play. If we keep him for another season, he's a bit better than us now, it has to be said. Uh, you know, that being said, there's a, lot, there's a lot still to play for for us this season. And if we could somehow, it's you know it ain't looking great at the moment because our form's crap. Let's be fair, and we're we're already we already have a deficit in the first leg of the semi final. If we could qualify for the Champions League, it's it's no hardship for him to stay. It, it really isn't. I mean, he gets to play his first season of Champions League as a West Ham player. That's great for everybody. My goodness, it can still happen, can't it? It can still happen. Um, but as far as the story goes, where the headline was saying Declan Rice's only option. Is a £100 million Manchester United move. Forget it, Deck. Don't bother, mate.